Stop saying that. Don't let yourself say that. I can, I will, I'll find a way, I'll get the information, I'll learn how to do it. I can, I can. So eliminate I can't from your vocabulary. Number four, you must have heart. Why do millions of technically skilled players get cut and give up? Okay, there's so many players out there who technically they're good enough to play at a high level, but they don't make it. Why? Usually it's either here or it's here. They got weak mind or they got weak heart. And what I mean by that heart comes down to your desire to fight, your work ethic, your hunger, your grind, your graft. Okay, it's so much more than just what you do with the feet. It's so much more than the fancy skills. If I can work harder than you, 99% of the time I'm going to beat you. Okay, even though like I got technique on my side too. So now you're double screwed. You gotta be willing to work hard. You have to wanna work hard. You have to have heart. Heart right here is willing to fight for the team. It's willing to fight for yourself. It's willing to fight for your goals. It's willing to fight for the people that support you. It's not like, oh, I got nice skills, so I'm gonna get by. No, you're gonna get destroyed, especially when you play at the higher level. It's so much more than what you do when you have the ball. So just learn, and we're gonna talk about this. I'll go through these notes that I have here. Let's have a conversation about Okay, so we're talking about heart. Heart is about hard work. Heart is about desire to win. And there's a big conversation around what's more important, player development or winning? Because some some youth coaches would be like, oh, it's all about winning. I don't, I don't care about the kids. I just got to get the results. And that's more about his ego. And the other side is like, oh, it's just about the players, it's just about them developing. We don't care about winning. And my take on that is it's about both. It's about developing players, but it's also about developing winners. Okay, it's about developing winners, the mindset of winning. That's what sports about. That's what competition's about. It's what life's about. Okay. And that doesn't mean stepping on people or cheating or, or being deceitful. It doesn't mean that. It means when I play, I play to win. I don't give up. I work harder than my competition. I do whatever it takes. Okay. So it's about developing winners and I need you to adopt that winner's mindset. So every time you play, whether it's in training, whether it's individual, whether it's with your friends in the park, whether it's in a match, you play to win the game. Now, if you lose, what do we do? We talk about, you change your mindset about failure. So if you lose, you learn from it, you use it as motivation. But when you're in that game, you fight, you fight. If you're playing, if you're playing horribly, you're having a really bad game, you can still control your work ethic. Your touch is off today. You missed five chances. I can still work hard, okay? So you need to adopt that mindset of that winner's mentality. Play to win every game. Don't give up on anything. If the ball's right there and it's you and me, I'm doing whatever it takes to get that ball, okay? Within the rules. Hey, and sometimes you push the line. I'm not telling you to cheat, but if you're not getting a yellow card every so often, you're probably not playing hard enough. Okay, so you gotta fight, you gotta be willing to be physical, you gotta be willing to work when you're tired, you gotta be willing to work when you're playing bad, you gotta fight for your team, you gotta fight for yourself, fight for your goals. Try harder, always try harder, and honestly analyze your efforts. So after your training, after your matches, you gotta be real with yourself, like we said in the beginning, this is all on you. So if you're lying to yourself about your work ethic, you're never going to improve. You gotta be honest with yourself and say, you know what, did I, did I work hard enough today? Or did I stop when I got a little bit tired? Or did that guy push me? Or did that guy get in my head and I gave up? Was it the 80th minute and I stopped playing? I stopped playing for the last 10 minutes of the game. You gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta analyze your, your, your technical performance. You also gotta analyze your heart. Did I work hard enough? Did I work hard enough? You can't always control the ball. I can't always have the ball on my feet, but I can always control my effort. I can control my desire to hunt you down and make a tackle for my team and win an interception and win an individual duel. I can, I can control my ability to track back and to run forward even if I don't get the ball. I can always control my effort. I can't always control the ball on my feet. Sometimes my touch is off. And when your touch is off, the easiest thing to do is just work yourself into the game. Got to run towards hard work because it's going to make you better. So many players, they run away from hard work. They don't want to work hard. They think their skills are just going to get them by. Maybe when you're 12 years old and you're like heaps or levels above the other players, everyone's going to catch up to you. And they're, they're going to do it because they work harder than you. And at the top level, guess what? Everyone is skilled and everyone works hard. So you need to do both. But you need to run towards hard work. So what I mean by that is when the coach says, hey, it's time to do five sprints. 
You don't say, oh man, why do we have to do this? You say, yes, I want to do this. Why? It's gonna make me faster. It's gonna make me fitter. It's gonna make me a better player. It's gonna make me mentally tougher. I'm gonna do this because I know no one else is gonna do this. Give me, give me an advantage on my competition. I want to do hard work. I wanna wake up, I wanna train every day, I wanna get better, I wanna move forward. I'm okay doing stuff that other people don't wanna do because I know it makes me better than them. So run towards hard work. You enjoy doing it, you wanna do it. Change your mindset. It's okay to struggle, it's okay to breathe hard. It feels good afterwards. It's okay to lift heavy weights and, and, and feel the pressure of the bar on your back. It's okay to try something and fail. It feels good, it means you're challenging yourself. It's easy just being in your comfort zone, doing what you're good at. That's boring, that doesn't make you better. Okay, so run towards the hard work. Success is on the other side of hard work. If you do what's always easy, the game becomes so hard. If you do what's hard, especially in training, the game becomes easy. So you wanna do the hard stuff. You wanna do, you wanna fail in training. You don't wanna fail in a game. You wanna fail in training, so push yourself into training. Do what's really hard. Then when you step on the mat, you're like, oh my God, this is easy because I've been pushing myself so hard. Most people have the opposite, right? They train so easy and then they get in the game and they try really hard, but they, they just didn't have what it takes because they weren't fit enough. They hadn't challenged themselves enough in training. How bad do you actually want it? So you need some emotional attachments. And sometimes we have to do this for more than just ourselves. If we're the only motivator, like my personal goal is the only thing motivating me. Oh, I wanna achieve that, I wanna achieve this. Okay, that's why I'm gonna do this work. Sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes on a deeper level, it's like, I need to do this for my kids. I need to do this for my fans. I need to do this for my parents who drove me to every single game and invested so much money. I need to do this for everyone who's ever doubted me. Okay, so you need some emotional triggers that push you forward when you're feeling tired, when you're feeling lazy, when you feel like you don't wanna do it, when you feel like you wanna give up. You need those emotional attachments to push you forward. So I want you to think about that for yourself. Um, discipline, 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 discipline. This is one of the most important characteristics or attributes that you can develop. And it's a skill, just like confidence is a skill. The more you do it, the better you get better, the better you get at it. But discipline is doing what you know you should do even if you don't wanna do it. So if you know you need to train and you wake up and it's cold outside and you're feeling a bit tired and you're feeling lazy and you start making all these excuses, that's when you need discipline. You need discipline to say, you know what? I don't necessarily want to do this, but because I said I want to achieve this goal, I have to do this and I'm going to do this. And now we're doing it. That's discipline. If you can develop that muscle, the muscle of discipline and make it stronger over time, you're going to be unstoppable. Okay. It's about follow through. We all know what we should be doing. We've all written down on a list a hundred times like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then you look back and you didn't do any of it, or you did something for a week and now you don't do it anymore. Discipline is knowing what to do and actually following through. If you can follow through in football on all the things that you say you're gonna do, follow through in life, at least on a majority, you're gonna be way, way ahead, okay? But you have to, again, be honest with yourself and say, you know what, I said I was gonna do this, I didn't do this, I'm lacking discipline, I need to work on my discipline. So with each of these, I'm just trying to write a little story because stories uh, teach lessons, but this is just a little example. I had some, uh, I went and scouted out these kids in a park because I coach a men's team. I coach like the top men's team in my city. But I scouted out these kids in the park. It was like, they were like 16, 18 years old. They are playing, uh, it was like probably like a group of like 40 kids and I picked like five kids that I thought, okay, these guys could probably play with men. Um, like technically they were good enough or they were doing well in that environment. And they came to the tryout and they, they, ah, they didn't do that well. <laughs> they did okay, they had little glimpses. But after, after the tryout, I, I came to them and I said, look boys, like, Technically, you're all good enough to play at this level, but you're too lazy, you don't play enough defense, you don't work hard enough. When you lose the ball, you don't track to give it back. If you don't have the ball at your feet, I don't notice you on the field, okay? So all those things that I just said, what's that about? It's about what we just talked about, it's about heart. They had the choice to do all those things. They could have worked harder, they could have ran more, they could have been more aggressive defensively, they were strikers or attackers and the ball was right there and they're like, oh, I'm a striker so I don't have to go and track him down or win the ball back for my team. Okay, those were choices. And maybe they just had no one tell them that before. Like, hey, you're lazy, you don't work hard enough, you don't play enough defense, you don't have enough heart. And if you wanna play at this level, you need that. Okay, but that's what I told them and um, they did adopt it and they, and they applied that information and it made a massive difference. And that's the beauty of it. If you can learn that, like right now you're just a technical player and you can take that and learn that, 
and you can turn that on, like that can transform your game overnight. Just the ability to work hard, the choice to work harder, the mental choice to work harder, to do more, to run more, to make more tackles. I'm not saying run around like an idiot, but I'm saying put more effort in, play to win every single time, play to win. Don't give up, be physical, be stronger, fight harder. Okay, that can change your game overnight. It's just a mindset sh mindset shift. So I need you to adopt the, the actionable step I want you to take for this one is I want you to adopt the winner's mindset. It's not okay to lose, but when you do, you learn and you move on. It's not okay to lose. If we're in a drill, it's not okay for you to beat me. It's not okay for me to let you win. I have to fight. If I lose, fine, I learn from it and I move on. I use that as motivation. That's part of the sport, but it's not okay for me to give up early or not to give my best. So whether you're training with your friends, you're playing in a practice or you're playing in a match. You play to win every single time. You never give up until the 90th minute. Even if your team is losing 3-0 in the 89th, you don't give up. You keep trying. You get three goals in the extra time. You do whatever it takes. And if you lose, you learn from it. You move on. Let's keep moving.